Um, I'm at uh, North Shore uh, Target in Mackerel uh, in London now. I've got uh, two two rods with me, two spinning rods. Um, one of them uh, played in Warbird, uh, eight foot rod, uh, powered with the Pen Pursuit 3000, 20 pound braid, straight free. Uh, on this one, I've got a uh, 20 grams uh, salvage gear seeker uh, on this on the other rod my uh, good old faithful uh, Ron Thompson cast 2280 grams 10 foot with his habikis on and a three, three ounce of omelette. Just about right weight for this rod. Uh, same again, small size reel, about 3,000 size reel. 20 pound, straight three braid. That's it guys. Uh, I think we have about two and a half hours before high tide, which is ideal time to fish uh, for mackerel uh, in this spot. So the plan is to fish all the way up and maybe an hour down. Uh, high tide is about six o'clock uh, this evening. So hopefully get some uh, mackerel uh, for bait, even barbecue and uh, granddad asked uh, <laughs> some uh, mackerel as well uh, yesterday. So be good to take some uh, for granddad. Yeah, um, conditions are uh, pretty much perfect really. About five, uh, five mile an hour wind, wind uh, mild wind, uh, bright sun at the moment. Yeah, uh, the colors are pretty good. Looks ideal for macro bashing anyway. Uh, as you can see, there's a pier there, great arm, and a little arm on my right. Right, guys, let's get casting now. I'm gonna try uh, feathers first and then. Uh, Hard to cut the tide come in and uh, a bit more there. It's only neat tide today, so only small tide. So I'm gonna leave the lure fishing uh, probably an hour or an hour and a half and then get uh, some lures out. Okay, uh, if I get any mackerel, then i uh, get back to you shortly, guys. Stay tuned. There we go guys, uh, literally a few, few pass after, um, yeah, small but uh, perfect, uh, perfect bait size, so I'm going to keep uh, some of these Joey Mackerels. Good start anyway, long speeding. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll sort these out and then carry on uh, feathering. There we go guys, full house, what we got now, eight mackerels, been here about 20 minutes, so not a bad session so far.
this tamper rod uh, past and easy. I've had it like two years, maybe just over two years. A uh, beast of a rod. Cast uh, three ounce uh, leads perfectly. Almost hitting about 100 yards with it. Okay, I've got a few, few muscles on again. They're about, hitting about 30 hours off. There we go. We've got two more joeys. One ducks. Perfect size for bait. Yeah, couldn't pick up a better day. Literally finished work, uh, managed to get away uh, half an hour earlier. Uh, got here just two and a half hours before high tide, which is ideal time for the fish. And the uh, quality is amazing today. Yeah, hard day in the wind. So yeah, uh, hopefully bag up some more and then fill that bait freezer. All in trouble here, and I can't see. Uh, CH field spot. He's got a channel going as well. He's a cracking fella. <laughs> really funny. Uh, he said he'll be here about four o'clock, so or half four. So, might be, might be here somewhere. Yeah, check his, uh, check his channel out as well guys, I'll, uh, I'll leave the link in the description for him. Uh, he, he won't be disappointed, uh, he'll be locking all the way through. On this up. Yeah, nice, Yeah, good, dude. I won't be if it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bait fishing? Well, we've got to. Yeah? We're going to do all. Well, we're going to a couple of rods out for bait fishing, you know, bait fishing, and uh, put some feathers on. Put some feathers on, yeah. Got a few. Yeah, David. Yeah, two. What? Same thing, uh, over what? ten. See what? What I said earlier, you'll be yeah, the I'll one catching all the fish. Okay. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, good, good. Quick, <laughs> Yeah, they'll have to run there, yeah. We had a couple of them in Bluetooth. I might just uh, try the reverse. Uh, that might have to be 
Right, time to switch up. Low rod. Uh, 20 gun per cyclone. I just seen earlier. Um, brand new. The setup's pretty much brand new. Only used once in uh, Armo uh, a few weeks ago. So hopefully, get me the bigger master. There we go, and I just species on the Savage Seeker. Nice little sand deal. Nice Colin got his first smart bill. After the cast. I'm changing the track to as well. Yeah, got the spinner on the on the feathers. Rather than just chucking the spinner out. So I'll just uh, give this set up a go. It always works uh, better than if any bigger fish will go for the, the spinner there. Yeah, back on the uh, uh, bomblet again. Looks like they uh, moved out a bit. The guy on, on to my left uh, is, is uh, casting hard out, so then might as well uh, cover some ground then. Got some more uh, mackerel. You got some? Probably oh, got some now, I think. <laughs> so the calling got on there. Oh, got two. That's Colin, CH uh, Field Sport. Mine, it's bigger than yours. Fish on straight away. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> yeah, it's plastic, isn't it? <laughs> You can't, you can't put that one around. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing this little fella floating about, thinking it was real. Well, oh, one less, uh, one less rubbish in the ocean, anyway. Oh, wow! Oh, 
Yeah, I think it's here, but a bit of foul up, that's fine. Come in, have a... Yeah, loads of these size are uh, about this evening, guys. Well, I'll, I'll show you how I release these. Literally, you don't touch the mackerel and then shake you off the hook. And uh, they, they tend to live better. But people say don't touch the skin, the skin burns as soon as you touch them. So yeah, uh, all I did just uh, shake you off the hook. Stay off. Right, as you can see, back in the car, guys. Uh, oh dear, uh, it's a bit hot now. Uh, yeah, uh, nice uh, few hours on the beach, uh, mackerel bashing. Kept about 20, uh, released uh, as much as I caught. Um, there was loads of uh, joy mackerels. So, yeah, uh, at least we got a few uh, for the freezer and uh, maybe some on the barbecue uh, tomorrow. Yeah, um, Got here about two and a half hour before high water, and uh, it was it was from the off, uh, literally um, ten minutes after I start catching them. So about two hour before high water, ideal time uh, for mackerel bashing this uh, this beach. That's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please uh, don't forget to hit that uh, like button for me, and uh, if you enjoyed the content. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you on the next episode, guys.